The Quangle Wangle said to himself on the crumpety tree, Jam and jelly and bread are the best of food for me. Now hold on just a second. Jam and jelly? Aren't they the British and American names for the same thing? I hear you not asking. Well, some people think there's enough of a difference that it needs explaining, so let's do this, I suppose. Jam and jelly. Many of you may well believe, or at least have heard from somewhere, that what the British call jam, Americans call jelly, and what the British call jelly, the Americans call jello, because those crazy Americans, right? The reality isn't quite that simple, though. Sure, jam and jelly are very similar beasts indeed, but there is actually a distinction to be made between the two products. Both jam and jelly are made by heating fruit up and mixing it with sugar and pectin. What's pectin, you ask? It's what's called a gelling agent, which, as you can likely tell by the name, is something that makes a substance thicker and more viscous. Pectin is usually found naturally in fruit, but additional pectin can be added to products like jam and jelly to make them stiffer. I mention this because this is actually one of the differences between jam and jelly. Jellies tend to have more additional pectin added to them than jams, and the reason for this is the difference in the way in which they're manufactured. Jelly is made by crushing fruit and then straining it to produce juice, which is then used to make the final product. With jam, instead of the juice being strained out, the crushed fruit is mostly kept in the mixture, and the resulting substance is therefore not as clear or gelatinous due to the presence of fruit pulp within the product itself. Jelly having less actual fruit product in it means it also contains less naturally occurring pectin, meaning that in jelly recipes, more additional pectin is usually added when compared with jam recipes. Though of course jam can also have additional pectin added as well. In addition, more often than not, this results in jellies being a lot more gelatinous than jams, as you can probably tell from the name. But hold on a second, what of what the UK calls jelly? Gelatine desserts, as Wikipedia calls them, are similar to jellies, except instead of boiling the fruit up directly, you instead dissolve gelatine in hot water and then add the flavouring later, either in the form of actual fruit or fruit juice, or in the form of artificial flavouring. The gelatine in these gelatine desserts give them a much clearer and thicker consistency than what the Americans call jelly. Incidentally, this sort of jelly need not necessarily be sweet either. There do exist savoury jellies like holodets and brawn, which if you live in the US you might also know by the name of head cheese, and they need not even be edible, as gelatin can, for example, be used to make vase fillers for fake flowers. As a matter of fact, they need not even contain gelatin at all. For instance, the vegan jelly I'm eating here is instead made with xanthan gum. But it doesn't just stop there. Here are some products which are very similar to jam and jelly in their composition, but are just a little bit different. Okay, Preserves are similar to jams, but instead of being made with pulp, they contain whole pieces of fruit. Being encased in that jelloid substance preserves the fruit within, hence the name. Conserves are similar, but are made with whole fruit rather than fruit pieces. Also similar to conserves are compotes, which are typically eaten immediately as opposed to being stored for preservation. Okay, Typically in English, marmalade refers to a jam, jelly or preserve made from citrus fruit, such as oranges or lemons. It derives from the Portuguese word mermelada, which is actually a thick paste made from quinces. In some European countries, such as Spain and Germany, the word marmalade is used to refer to any fruit product mentioned in this video. Okay, Curd is made using fruit juice, sugar, eggs and butter to make a sort of pasty fruit substance that can easily be spread. It's also apparently not as long-lasting as jam, jelly or preserve, so it needs to be eaten quickly. Okay, Fruit butters are similar in consistency to curd, but they're only made with fruit and sugar, with no added pectin being involved at all. The result is a very thick and pasty substance that spreads very easily. Okay, Chutney is similar to jam, but is typically made with more citrusy fruits like mango and such, and also spices and vinegar are typically added for flavour. Much like a fruit butter, chutney also usually contains no added pectin and less sugar, which makes it a bit more runny. Here I am, violating some mango chutney with a chicken tender. Okay, Petroleum jelly is an oil deposit. It has absolutely nothing to do with any of the other kinds of jellies discussed in this video. While jelly seems to be a mostly American beast, in my research I was thrown a little bit of a curveball. In UK supermarkets you can sometimes buy seedless jam of various flavours. But if jam usually contains whole fruit puree, then surely seedless jam would be an oxymoron since you'd have to filter out the seeds, which would also filter out the puree. So being curious, I bought a couple of jars of jams and such, including some seedless jams, for the purposes of having a little butcher's look at them to see if they actually are the products they claim to be. So we have here a jar of something that claims to be strawberry jam. Um, very cheap stuff from Morrison's. If we open it up, note the absence of seeds. Stick a knife in it. Observe the consistency. I'm thinking this might actually be jelly. 
we're just we're calling it jam here for some reason. This one can this one actually claims to be made with real fruit, so I have high hopes for this one. Lead off. This one does look a little bit lumpier. So let's have a look, shall we? Yeah. This one, as it turns out, does seem to be a bit more jammy. Actually, hold on a second. I'm gonna try a bit of this. Not too much. Yeah, I can detect a whole black current in here. Well, it appears to be a whole black. Look at that. I think that might be at least part of the whole black current. Meaning this is not technically a jam. It's a um, either a preserve or a conserve. There's not actual proper fruit bits in, and a fair bit of them actually. It appears. Yeah, look at that. Look, look at all the berries in there. You might not be able to see it, but. There's definitely a lot of berries in there. This claims to be a preserve. But let's see. To me, this doesn't look like it's got enough actual whole fruit bits in to count as a preserve. This looks more like a jam. Yeah, look at that. There's practically no fruit bits in there at all. There's basically... That, that's, that's a jam. This isn't a preserve, this is, this is a jam. This Fort Lemon Nation rose petal jelly appears to contain whole rose petals, so it's not a jelly, it's a preserve. Here we have some blackcurrant and slow gin jam. I've already opened this one, so let's have us a look, shall we? Is it okay? Twice now. There's a whole black currants. What is it with black currant jam and containing whole black currants, and therefore not actually qualifying as a jam? One of them's fallen out. So there we have it. Some products which are called jam in the UK are actually closer to jelly than jam, and some things that are called preserves are actually just jams, and vice versa. Also, blackcurrant jams have a strange tendency to actually be blackcurrant conserves. Go figure. If you have any further questions, just drop them in the comments, and thank you all for watching! Be sure to like, share and subscribe, and ding the little bell, since less than 5% of my viewer base is actually subscribed, so it would mean a lot. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta!